thank you guys for tuning into my channel today so today's video is going to be very chill if you can't already tell by my attire I'm just getting out of gym class and I just thought I would film something very short quick and fun so I'm going to be talking about times where the Lord radically showed up in my life and proved himself as God. So the first time is the time that I went evangelizing with my church and we went to this very, very bad area, set up our table, we were giving out donuts, pizza, we were praying for people. In that type of environment, it's it's not uncommon for somebody to be walking around with a knife or, you know, doing drugs right in the middle of the street, like it's just normal. And so um, my church members were kind of set up like on this end of the street and I was just walking wherever the spirit led me or wherever I felt led to go and to talk to people and to go pray for people. And so I just wandered off. Mind you, I was still on the same street that they were on, but I just wandered, you know, down a little bit further down on that same side. And um, as I was praying, I was just praying in the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, praying and just, um, asking the Lord who should I pray for next who should I speak to and um, as I'm praying as I'm walking I see this guy this older guy I don't know if he had like mental issues I really don't know what was behind whatever happened but he was walking around with a pocket knife and um, he kind of had it like right by his hand like his hip it was re really subtle and I don't think he wanted anyone to see it I don't know if he was intending on using it I, I just I don't know but it was out and like it, it wasn't you know how like you can like fold it and the knife the sharp part won't actually be out so the sharp part was actually out and it was you know like hidden right here and he was just walking and he looked really angry and no one else saw it but me I made eye contact with the knife and with him and immediately I was just like I snapped out of it and I'm beginning to now operate in the flesh. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I've already seen it. Is he gonna take action? Is he gonna try to do something? Is he gonna like take action because I already saw it and I might tell somebody like, what is he gonna do? And so I then was like, no, I need to continue operating in the Holy Spirit. Like I'm not operating in flesh right now. Like what am I doing? And so I kept praying, I kept speaking in tongues, like literally y'all, I was like, and I kept speaking in tongues and I kept praying you know just walking up and down and I didn't want to turn around and go back because again like I don't want to operate in fear because God hasn't given us that spirit so I'm not gonna operate in fear I'm gonna keep praying so you know and it was broad daylight um, you know but I really truly be believe that the Lord was with me so I was praying 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 and as soon as he saw me like as soon as we made eye contact y'all I lied to you not it looked like he had saw a ghost because he was like that's literally the face he made. And as soon as he saw me, I don't know what revelation he got, I don't know what happened, but he immediately put the knife in his pocket and walked the opposite way. Mind you, I'm still walking towards him. I'm not going to talk to him um, per se, but I'm just walking towards his direction because I'm just looking for people to pray for and to talk to. And so when he saw me, he literally turned around and put the knife back in his pocket and walked the opposite way and I was just like Lord what was that because he looked like he saw a ghost when he saw me I wasn't praying out loud I wasn't like screaming or praying heaven down I was I was just speaking in tongues I was just you know in a very subtle voice praying or whatever and um yeah the Lord just told me right then and there that you know I was surely with you and there was nothing that was going to happen to you and yeah so the lord definitely protected me because anything could have happened and um you know it's not a coincidence that that happened so that's one time where the lord really showed up and like it was all god like i, I can't even add to that that it was all god another time where the lord showed up and um really really revealed himself to me is when um so i was like sleeping it was like in the middle of the night i was sleeping and um i woke up this was like last was it last year this was like last year and i woke up and for some reason i was having shortness of breath like i don't know what was going on but i literally could not breathe and i didn't want to like scare my parents or whatever or my siblings and i just kept it to myself and i had to get up from the bed and like come out of the room because like I don't know like I just didn't know what was going on and so I 
initially I was thinking okay well what do I do should I drink some tea maybe I'm just having something wrong something's wrong with my throat or should I call the police like the ambulance like what because honestly like I don't know if you guys understand what shortness of breath means like not being able to breathe like gasping for air <laughs> I don't know what else to say that's how I was y'all like I could not breathe and so I put on the stove to make some tea and um I grabbed my phone because I'm like, okay, at least I can drink some tea or whatever um, until the police get here, the ambulance gets here or something. Um, and I'm reaching for my phone because I'm trying to, you know, like, okay, let me just call the ambulance. I want to just make everything really settle and just call them and let's get this thing on the road. So I reach for my phone, y'all, as I'm about to literally dial 911. I, it was probably like 3 o'clock in the morning. And so I reach for my phone, my handy dandy phone, and... Um, I used to have these things where I had like alerts on my phone, like um, certain scriptures and stuff. And so the scripture that popped up on my screen, y'all, like before I could even like unlock my phone and start dialing 911, the scripture that popped up on my screen was Psalm chapter three, verse three. And that scripture said, but Lord, you are a shield around me. You are the lifter of my head. You know what I mean? Like when I saw that, I was just like, what? Like, what? I was just like, God, what? Like, the Lord was protecting me from something. Like, for the scripture to pop up and it say that the Lord is a shield around me. He's the lifter of my head, my glory. That means that the Lord was truly protecting me from something because I could have easily lost my life that night. I don't know what was happening. I don't know what demonic force was trying to take my life. But, you know, for that to come up, again, like I said, I don't believe in coincidences. I really believe that the Lord is so strategic in all he does. So that scripture popped up and I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And so I saw that and I really felt in my spirit that the Lord was asking me, so are you trusting the ambulance before you can, like I didn't even pray. I just was like, okay, let me just call ambulance or quicker. He's like, do you trust them more than you trust me? And so I didn't even proceed to call them. I just let it go. I saw that scripture and then that's what prompted me to pray. And so I prayed and um, I really asked the Lord to remove whatever it was that was blocking my, you know, my airway for me breathing, like whatever it was, like, please Lord, remove it. And literally, I'm not even lying to y'all, in less than five minutes, I was back to normal and it never happened again, ever. Like it never happened again. So that was the second time where the Lord really revealed himself to me, revealed his glory, revealed his presence to me. Time is when I, you know, I didn't have any food because I have my own college apartment and I don't really go home as much. So I didn't have any food one day and I was down to my last meal and I hadn't gotten paid yet. So I just, I was moving my faith. I'm just like, well, Lord, I'm just going to eat this by faith, knowing that you were going to provide another meal for me because it was still in the middle of the week and payday was at the end of the week. And I just didn't know how I was going to eat. And I didn't know like who I could hit up and ask for money. So I was just going to like do it by faith. So I had my bowl of food. I think it had like rice and stew or something. I don't know what I had. And I legit, like I lifted it up and I gave thanks to, to God, I was like, God, I thank you for this food. I thank you because you're a God of multiplication. And I thank you because I know that you're gonna multiply and that you are going to provide food for me by the end of today because I don't have a way of eating. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't know how I'm gonna eat. Like, I don't have any money, like literally, like my account is telling me I don't have anything. So, you know, Lord, I know you're gonna make a way. And I did that as a prophetic sign of like, Lord, I'm trusting in you, I'm believing you. I'm believing you to multiply this last meal. So, um, I did that and then, y'all, I'm not even lying to you. Literally, by the end of the day, my roommate came back with like pans of food. I don't even, like, I don't even know. I can't even explain it. I just, it's God. She came back with pans of food. I not, I not only had food for that night, I had food for the rest of the week. In addition to that, my friend sent me money on my cash app, sent me money for food because I, I hit her up. We were just, we were already having a conversation and I was just like, oh, I'm like really hungry and I don't have any food, you know, and she felt compelled to say, let me send you money to my, to my cash app account. I didn't ask her. So like, these are just experiences that I've had that the Lord revealed himself to me and like that right there, it makes me never to question his presence, never to doubt his sovereignty, his ability, like y'all, 
he is with you wherever you go like when you when you just have to sit there and like actually catch the revelation and say lord i know that your word says that you are with us wherever we go and i know that your word says that you promised so many prophets in the bible as you were sending them out you promised to be with them and not to be afraid of the people and that you know they will never conquer over them and they will never win but that you were surely with them wherever you went i know you promised them these things but I feel like a lot of us believers, we really struggle with believing the Lord on an intimate level for us. Like we believe the Lord from afar and we believe what he can do for us from afar. We believe that he is sovereign. We believe that he's powerful. We believe that he is amazing, that he is almighty. We believe all these things. But when it comes down to an intimate level, like when it comes down to us and what he can do for us in our lives, like our everyday lives, we really really struggle in that area and so those are just three experiences encounters that I had with the Lord like radical encounters in times where the Lord literally showed up and was like yeah I'm here this is me so I thank you all for tuning in I hope that you guys enjoyed this sweet but short video have a good one guys